So these couples are getting sued and the reason behind it is going to shock you. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Chooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. So this is Pizzo Musimin and his wife Moira Musimin. And the reason why they are getting sued is one of the shocking things that you've ever heard. Why am I saying that Pizzo Mimini is a renowned coach? He has won almost every trophy that it is to win in African League and then in Saudi League. This guy has seen, he has been regarded as the pep of Africa. He is the best coach to come out of Africa. So now you're asking yourself, why is he getting sued with his wife? So let me tell you in details. He is getting sued by their domestic worker. Yes, guys, their domestic worker for a whooping sum of 5.7 million rands. Guys, 5.7. I don't have any issues with suing your boss or suing anybody, but as a domestic worker suing somebody for 5.7 million rands, your whole, like, how would I say it? In your whole time of working with these people, or let me not be harsh and say in your whole life as a domestic worker, you are not going to make 5.7 million. So what gave you the audacity to request for 5.7 million rands from somebody like him? Maybe it's because you've seen how, okay, this guy is rich or he, he has this kind of money or he has this kind of insurance and you are seeing them for 5.7 million rands. It's kind of uh, greed, if you ask me. Yes, it's greed. But uh, let me read this article that i saw concerning this uh, case and when i finish reading will summarize and i would like to hear your thought down below in the comment section so this article says domestic worker sues pizzo mosimeni and wife for 5.7 million over workplace injuries okay guys listening to this pizzo mosimeni the renowned south african football coach and his wife moira finds themselves embroiled in a legal battle as their domestic worker sues them for 5.7 million over injuries sustained while on duty. The lawsuit filed by the domestic worker alleges that she suffered significant injuries after failing after falling while performing household chores. After falling while performing household chores leading to life altering consequences. Yes, I know life altering consequences. We don't know what it is, but that doesn't warrant 5.7 million rands. But let's keep going. According to the reports by Sunday World, the incident occurred while the domestic worker was removing debris from the couple's residence. The fall resulted in severe injuries, leaving, the, leaving her borderline disabled and permanently affecting her ability to conceive. Okay? At least now, I'm getting the reason for the whole 5.7 million. Maybe I judged her quite early because of the whole five, uh, price tag of 5.7 million. But being borderline disabled and not and uh, the ability of giving birth, taking away from you, there's no amount of money that can compensate for that. But what I'm still saying is 5.7 million rands is too much. Because let's say she's cleaning for a lesser a lesser household or someone that doesn't make as much as the most main family makes. Will she be requesting for 5.7 million rands? That's my question. Will she be requesting for 5.7 million rands? Guys, let me know down below your thoughts on this whole issue as I continue the article. So, as I continue, the lawsuit highlights the legal obligations of employees to ensure the safety and well-being of their employees in the workplace, including domestic workers. Employers are required to provide a safe working environment and take appropriate measures to prevent accidents and injuries. Guys, once again, I have to say, no matter how much you prepare, the reason why it's called accident is because it's accident. Nobody can foresee it. The only thing we can do is we can take precaution on how to mitigate the whole, uh, what comes after the accident, how severe the injuries will be. That's the only thing we can do and that's the only thing we can prevent. But accidents are accident because nobody can predict when they will happen. So 
as I continue, the case also underscores the importance of accountability and justice in addressing workplace injuries and ensuring that victims receive fair compensation for their suffering and losses. The domestic workers' lawsuit seek to hold Pizzo Musimane and his wife accountable for the injuries she sustained while under their employ. As the legal proceeding unfolds, the case set the case serves as a reminder of the need for employees to prioritize workplace safety and to take proactive steps to prevent accidents and injuries. It, it also highlights the vulnerability of domestic workers who often work in private residence without the protection of labor law and regulations. Pitsu Mosimin and Moira have yet to publicly respond to the allegations. However, the lawsuit is expected to shed light on the circumstances surrounding the incident and determine the extent of the couple's liability in this matter so guys you've heard everything that this article said yes i understand that she's going through uh, a severe damage uh, and a uh, life altering uh, disability but all i have to say is seeing someone for 5.7 million rands for what they didn't see coming or in fact, seeing someone for 5.7 million rands for an accident that happened in their workplace, yes, you might require them to take responsibilities, but 5.7 million rand is a, is a whole lot of money. That's from my own perspective. But let me know what your perspective is. Do you think for the amount that she is requiring, do you think it's a good compensation for the injury that she suffered? Remember, they said that she is disabled for life. And the ability to have kids have been taken away from her so let me know down below in the comment section do you think 5.7 million rand is a good compensation for the amount of injuries she suffered or do you think 5.7 million rand it's all about greed and it's because the family is rich let me know down below in the comment section and i'll see you guys on the next video stay blessed